Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. I'm coming to you today with a let's clean this kitchen video. It is definitely a motivational video to get you up and moving and get your space, whether it be a kitchen, a living room, your bedroom, whatever it is, definitely get it clean. Now sometimes when I look in the kitchen and I see the mess, I'm like, oh my gosh, is this even doable? I guess I've cleaned my kitchen a million times and I still get that feeling like it's a little overwhelming so my son actually has dishes this week and sometimes like one or two days out of the week I'll go in and I'll just deep clean the kitchen I'll clean it up just to make it make it to my liking basically so if you're interested in seeing how I clean the kitchen I'm also going to be bringing in some furniture some uh, another piece into the kitchen you know if you want to see how everything looks definitely keep on watching and I'm thinking about redoing my kitchen like taking down those cow pictures although I do love them and maybe adding some different decor I'm not really sure but if you're interested in seeing how I clean the kitchen definitely keep on watching and let's hop right into it so many people let me know I should some new Usually when I clean my kitchen, I like to start with the dishes, the sink area, but today I wanted to start with the table because I'm still unsure if I'm going to move the table completely out of the kitchen. I think I will after you see the final reveal, you'll see why. But I did start with the dining room or the kitchen table, I should say, and now I'm moving on to the sink area. So I always rinse off my dishes prior to washing them. I clean out the sink and I put away the dishes that have left been been left there since um, the prior wash basically from my son or my daughter or um, one of the kids and I put those up I don't like to put new dishes on top of the dishes that have been sitting there if that makes sense so I do that and then I proceed to wash the rest of the dishes Guys, and sorry for the background noise, I have a neighbor who is actually mowing their lawn and trimming, you know, doing some yard work basically. So if you hear that in the background, my apologies. Now I know that a lot of you love to see me wash dishes, so I definitely wanted to give you something to watch. I have a lot of dishes here that need to be cleaned, and whenever I'm putting up dishes, you know, my son, he's 13, he'll wash the dishes. And I'll look at them, and if I don't feel that they're clean all the way, you know, to my liking, I will wash them again. And that's why sometimes you'll see me put the dishes back into the sink, just to let you know. But definitely enjoy this dishwashing little episode right here, because I am going to get these scrubbed. You'll see the bubbles, and I did add bleach to the water.
No stress, though they're waiting. I keep them waiting. Makeup on fleek, high heels, ripped jeans, they're all waiting. I'm on my way, yeah. Looking in the mirror at myself like who that? Swag on a thousand and my girls got my back. We just won the party, call me tequila shot We just won the party. We just came to dance and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Ooh, baby, I know I turn you on You can bring your friends, we won't mind it We just came to dance and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Now I'm moving over to the stove As you can see, the stove was a little dirty And like I said before, I like to have a clean stove before I even start cooking now this is 7 o'clock at night after the dinner and everything has been done and everyone has eaten so I'm feeling pretty good that there won't be much of a mess after I get this clean. I'm trying to implement that rule that the kitchen is shut down after mom gets done cleaning the dishes or whomever is on dish duty. Once the dishes are done at night, that is it. The kitchen is closed, period. You know, except for some water or something like that. I'm not going to, you know, make you die of thirst. <laughs> But yeah, so moving on to the stove, getting that nice and clean, and I will be cleaning inside of my stove again. I need to do that. I didn't do it in this video, but I do plan on doing that as well. Now that the stove is clean, the sink is clean, the dishes are done, I am sweeping the floor and then I am going to mop. As you can see, my back door was open because I have my son out there getting the trash together. It is trash night, so he was putting the trash out for us. And I did have the other girls go out and help him as well. But I am just sweeping, getting all of that up and done so that I can proceed to mop once he comes back in. Now 
Now I'm trying to see how it would look if I move this piece of furniture into the kitchen. Um, as you know, I've had several comments saying that the house looks a little cluttered. So I'm trying to move some things around. I'm trying to see if I need to keep some things, see how I can reorganize it without spending a lot of money. So I'm shopping my home. So I'm going to move this into the kitchen, see how I like it and go from there. Also, you see the hole in the wall right there. One of the kids did that. I am going to buy a pat and recover that basically so that that'll be taken care of I just keep forgetting to do that so that is going to be the coffee bar station right over there while I just move that and my spice is almost bit the dust basically when I was cleaning the stove I knocked off one of the screws or one of the nails so I had to put that back up so now I'm just cleaning this piece of furniture off you know you want to have a clean surface and then I will be moving in the coffee pot and all of that and getting that nice and organized I've noticed that the kids do not sit at this table. I really use this table for prep basically and whenever I bring stuff into the kitchen I'll sit it onto that table but for the most part this table really isn't used so I'm thinking about getting a kitchen island to put there to put basically to use that. So guys, we have the finished kitchen. Now I have the coffee bar station over here in the kitchen. It'll be easier to access the creamer and such. And then in there I have some extra items that I cook with. The table really doesn't get utilized too much. And then I need to organize the microwave area a little bit better. But the stove is clean. The kitchen sink is clean. I cleaned off the cabinets a couple days ago. I washed all of that. I wiped off the refrigerator. I swept and I mopped. And now the space is feeling good. I feel good about it. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this kitchen motivational cleaning video. And I hope it gives you the motivation you need to get up and get something done. Thank you guys. I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.